Hi everybody, Bob with Knives Town here. I'd like to do a review for you today on a Boker knife. It's the Jim Wagner Rescue Knife. A very interesting knife with a number of uh, unique features on it. So uh, uh, let's take a look at it here. It ships in the, uh, in the Boker box uh, with the uh, stock number on it there. And it opens with the a hinged lid style like that. The knife ships in bubble wrap for protection. There we go. And it comes with some literature. This knife uh, it was designed by, uh, by Jim Wagner. And uh, I'll see if I can get you a shot of this. Uh, He's uh, actually become a respected and, and, and prominent individual uh, in the tactical uh, and self-defense training uh, industry. Uh, the picture of the knife you see there is, is, is not this knife. It's, it's another knife that, he, that he's designed. As you can see, it's more of a tactical fighting knife. But um, uh, this, this information is about uh, Jim Wagner and about uh, his program, his reality-based uh, training program uh, that you, you can uh, you can enroll in that there's there's actually three levels uh, uh, of, of, of different training that you can get but but anyway Jim Wagner um, his qualifications are uh, that he he was in the army uh, he did serve in the in the in the armed services uh, he has been uh, he was a federal marshal uh, he has uh, worked in law enforcement as a as a uh, uh, a reserve sergeant in the Orange County Sheriff's Department. He has uh, been a trainer for, uh, he's trained elite tactical teams in Germany and Israel and Mexico, uh, Canada. Uh, he's, he, uh, he's held uh, training for our own, our own armed services, the Air Force uh, and the FBI. And anyway, so he's a, a well-renowned uh, individual uh, and, uh, in uh, defense, tactics, knife fighting, and that kind of thing. And he designed this knife, so uh, this knife as well as this this other this other tactical knife you see there. So um, taking a look at it, I think that that you'll think you'll agree that a lot of good thought has gone into this. Uh, this particular knife again is is a rescue knife, and so it's uh, it's got a little bit different blade on it than a normal knife. It's it's got the uh, you know the the blunt tip here, which you would which we see on rescue knives, and you would expect that. That's that blunt tip, of course, is so that the knife can be can be worked next to a body and next to a person uh, without injuring them, without without cutting them accidentally. Um, you know, the it has a uh, it has a seat belt cutter back here for for hooking and and, and quickly ripping through a, a seat belt or other or line, uh, you know, or other kinds of uh, smaller obstacles that are in the way. You can see that in there. It's it's a very sharp, very sharpened piece of metal in there, uh, and then the, then and this part is not sharpened either. It's not just a blunt tip, but it that's carried that smoothness is carried down this far, and then you hit the ferocious serrations, and those will absolutely chew through anything. Very very good, very good sharpening, uh, very good working serrations. You can see that uh, it is. Uh, I suppose chisel ground would be the way of describing the grind. It's 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 ground on this side, but but not this side. Okay, it's flat there, and then there's your there's your serrations. Uh, the the blade uh, is a uh, three point eight inches long, and um, it's made of four forty C steel. Which is a very good steel. That's that's a that's a very good, uh, very good working steel. Uh, the handle is made of fiberglass reinforced nylon. Very very tough. You can you can probably see here some uh, uh, some of the traction that's been built onto that handle. Now that's not grip tape. That that has actually been molded into the handle, and you can see also that there's that, that it's scalloped uh, to accept. To accept the fingers and, and, and give a good grip there. It, it almost appears at first glance that there are no liners, but that's that's not true. The inside of the liners has been routed out 
and stainless steel is, is mounted flush in there. It is a, uh, a back lock, which uh, functions in, in just the way that you're familiar with, with, you know, with, it's a mid lock, uh, so it, it functions. It's a very, that's a strong lock. It's got a lanyard hole here, uh, finger, finger guard up front, jimping fore and aft. There is a window breaker on the back here. There you can see that. That's for, for punching out uh, punching out a glass window uh, that you know or, or any kind of glass obstacle that's that's in the way. Uh, and, and something very interesting about, about that, one of the unique features of this knife is that the knife also comes with a, an accessory here, a little accessory pouch, and a couple of couple of items in there. One is a, is a, a tension wrench, and the other is an interesting little item. It's uh, intended to camouflage the knife, so to speak, while it's while it's being carried. And and what I'm referring to is this little piece there, and and what that is supposed to simulate. Is the that's supposed to simulate the top of a of a of a pen of a of a, a click top ballpoint pen? That's what that's supposed to simulate. And what you do with that is is if you want, you you can remove the window breaker and 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 in its place insert this this piece, which just has that appearance. And so when you're wearing it in your pocket. Uh, what's visible is the the pocket clip, of course, and then this little this little pen top. So the the idea is to appear as if you have a pen in your pocket. Um, you know, I mean, that's I. You can certainly do it if you want. I, I I would imagine that that would be more applicable for for knives like like this one for the tactical knife. You know, and maybe that would be a, an idea on that one, but. Uh, it, it, it also comes, uh, it just comes standard with the rescue knife too, so that's a little bonus. Uh, and also the, uh, the wrench, there's a, a tension wrench that also comes with it. I'll see if I can get a, a shot in there, but what it does is that this, this is a, 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 an adjustment for the tension at the pivot there, and you can see that pivot is a little bit unusual, and this wrench fits right in there, and you can you can adjust your adjust your tension however however tight or loose you want that blade to be. So that's nice. That's a nice little feature. Uh, you know somebody's somebody's thinking pretty well on that. The pocket clip I really love. If you can if you can see that you can see how low down that that pocket clip will ride. Uh, the knife will. The knife will practically disappear in your pocket. You can see that's a low rider. And then you put that, you put this, uh, you know, little pen top on it. And then you can see the idea there that people would think, oh, you got a pen in your pocket. That's how it would appear. That is that is a, a well thought out knife. You've got you've got a, a good steel blade. You've got a thumb disc for opening it. Uh, you've got um, a seat belt cutter. You've got just incredible serrations. You've got a glass a glass cutter. Uh, you've got a, a, a tension wrench. You've got a little disguise little design if you'd like. Good gripping scalloping there. Fiberglass reinforced nylon handle, that's almost indestructible. Good sturdy lock. That's a great kit. Well, thanks a lot. I'll see you again.